it's not hard work that stresses us out. It's the loss of control. And I was just talking to one of my clients yesterday, a seven figure business, really on his way to ramp up to eight figures. He just hired a team of people, four people on his team last week. Now he's onboarding them and he's feeling overwhelmed because leads are coming in, he's having to service them and then having to teach and train these new people. And he has a new manager that, you know, we hired not too long ago. And now he's in chaos. It's like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. It's, it just totally killed his day of productivity. And that's what he told me. He's just like, he's like, I'm overwhelmed. So I dove into the problems going, what happened here? We, we, we just spent months creating this operation manual with everything lined up in it. And, uh, and everyone was calling him. Everyone was looking to him for all the solutions of the business. His new manager was asking him questions. People under the manager were asking him questions and he was just responding. And I told him, you gotta stop responding. You gotta point people back to the book. You gotta just point people back there and that's going to empower them. If you are the solution to all the problems, then you are the one that is still going to be bogged down in your time. The only way to get freedom is to put it in a book and point to the book. And I remember how difficult this was in my journey because I was a personal trainer. Then I turned into a business owner and clients would come in the door and all of a sudden one of my trainers didn't show up. And it was so easy for me to just say, don't worry about it, I'll just train you and go and train the client. But this was happening over and over again. It was creating this frustration because that whole hour I could have been uh, you know, growing the business, but instead I was really playing small, still working with the clients. And one day I just got fed up and I just remember that, that day where I had that client come in and I said, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to fix this. Let me refund you this session and reschedule it for later that week. Well, when my personal trainer came in, I had this different, this different approach with it now. I was like, listen, we just lost money because you didn't show up, right? And I started to really instill the rules. I also made sure I wasn't in that position again. This forced me to find somebody else, to always have somebody on the sidelines ready to go. It made me more prepared. Once I was able to do that, I hired a manager. When I hired that manager, that manager had no technical skill as a personal trainer. So she had no other choice but to be prepared and always had somebody in place. And she had this already instinctual fear of that happening whereas i didn't before so sometimes when you have the knowledge of the technical stuff it actually is this it's, it's what's in the way of you being able to delegate letting go of the short-term gratification in service of the long-term growth of the business so you could have the greatest manual the most a piece of art operation manual but if you're not upholding it, if you're not pointing people to it to say, this is where the solutions are, don't contact me, I'm not giving you answers anymore, then the whole thing can still be a mess and you'll be just completely overwhelmed. So if, you, if, if this resonates with you, there's 12 systems in a business, in all service businesses, and if you want to know more about that, there's a video that uh, that talks about that. Systems are going to set you free. You need systems to set you free.